Thank you very much. Please let's take our seats. <clears throat> Your Excellency, my colleagues, presidents, Your Excellency, President of Zimbabwe, Amazon Mnangagwa, President of Malawi, the President of Central Africa Republic, the President of Zambia, the President of Namibia, Prime Minister of Eswatini, the Vice President of Equatorial Guinea, the Vice President of um, Burundi, the Vice President of Botswana. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to Nairobi. On behalf of the people and government of Kenya, I extend a very warm welcome to all our visitors from both near and far. Welcome home to Kenya. I trust that you have enjoyed your stay in the beautiful city of Nairobi, and I look forward to working with you on this very important subject that has brought us here. It is an honor for me to be here on the beginning of this pivotal summit, which emphatically revisits a historic moment of Africa's green revolution ambition with a focus on soil health and especially the use of fertilizer. Today, Africa remains heavily reliant on food imports, highlighting the limited progress achieved decades after the Abuja Declaration. Clearly, we have very important issues to reflect upon and resolve as a matter of urgency, and this summit offers us a perfect opportunity for this engagement. Across Africa, our people face numerous serious challenges that hinder their efforts and investment in enhancing agricultural opportunities and productivity. This includes the inadequate fertilizer application, extreme wet weather adversities, flooding on one end, as we are witnessing in East Africa, drought, as we are witnessing in uh, South Africa, and extensive land degradation, among others. All this point to a broader issue of poor soil health, which is central to our conversation in this summit. Recent global economic crisis that we all understand, including the serious economic issues and challenges that most countries face, compounded by supply chain disruptions from the COVID-19 pandemic, and of course, the geopolitical dynamics, including the war in the middle of Europe, have worsened fertilizer affordability and, aff and availability, and disrupted agriculture and agricultural production, resulting in reduced acreage that is currently under crop, and also um, reducing food security availability. This summit presents an opportunity to collectively deliberate and sustain our ambition by converting challenges into opportunities. To achieve this, we must assess our current situation within the broader context of our African potential. Speaking specifically to this summit, this summit is important because it speaks to soil health and fertilizer. Three things are very important. Number one, soil health and fertilizer is important because Africa has 60% of the world's uncultivated arable land. That potential is immense. And unlocking that potential is central to our economic growth. 
because unlocking that potential not only gives us an opportunity to feed our people on this continent, but also it gives us an opportunity for us to engage in agro-processing, value addition, manufacturing with agro-based um, raw materials. Shortly, we will be having a conversation, for example, with the United States on the subject of AGOA. And AGOA is primarily based on our exports to the United States, a majority of which are agro-based. And therefore, agricultural productivity is central to our economic progress. And agricultural productivity is influenced to a great extent in the proper use of adequate fertilizer that are crop specific that will enhance our productivity and therefore build a case for our economic progress. Central to that as well is that Africa is a growing market. It's now a market of 1.4 billion people. By 2050, a quarter of the world's population will be living here. And therefore, it is important for us to use the assets we have. And among the assets we have is our agricultural potential. It is therefore important in this meeting for us to address fertilizer availability, production of fertilizer using locally available raw materials in our continent making sure that this fertilizer enhances our agricultural productivity because therein lies the opportunity for us to live in dignity because we will have food security, to also create jobs and opportunities for our young people using our value addition agro-processing of uh, agricultural-based raw materials and using it for our industrialization and using our big market also to make sure that we drive our own progress. In our pursuit of the Green Revolution, it is crucial to note that Africa possesses the largest agricultural potential. And yet, we operate far below our agricultural full capacity. This vast potential underscores our ability and obligation to transform Africa from a hungry continent into a self-sufficient global bread basket. Additionally, fluctuating fertilizer prices and supply chain disruptions exacerbate, exacerbated by conflict is producing, in especially the producing regions, Russia, Ukraine, and, 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 and the whole of that space demand deep reflection on how we secure adequate, affordable, and sustainable fertilizer and supply across Africa. Therefore, in the face of prevailing challenges, our commitment to achieving sustainable development goal number two, that of ending hunger, ensuring food security, improving nutrition, and promoting sustainable agriculture must be unwavering. This commitment resonates boldly in our Agenda 2063, where we pursue an agricultural revolution through modern, sustainable agricultural practices. Our focus should not only be on increasing fertilizer usage, but also ensuring its judicious application to revitalize responsive soils and rehabilitate degraded ones. Despite our current situation, Falling short of our ambition outlined in the Abuja Declaration, SDG 2 and Agenda 2063, there are reasons for optimism. It is encouraging to see several African nations making strides in fertilizer production, particularly phosphate fertilizers. However, the absence of nitrogen fertilizer production plants 
due to high capital requirements underscores the need for regional investment collaboration to enhance our self-sufficiency in fertilizer manufacturing. I stand here to make a very strong case for a common strategy, collective action, joint investment, and logistical collaboration to ensure every arable acre of Africa's land receives the right type and quantity of fertilizer. This transformation will shift our agricultural production from that of deficit straight into surplus. My case is made even more irrefutable from evidence from Kenya's own intervention. Let me say this. A year ago, our agricultural production, especially of maize, was about 40 million bags. With the use of fertilizer in the last one and a half years, adequate, crop-specific fertilizer that we used e-voucher, technology-based e-voucher, we have increased our agricultural production of maize from 40 million bags to 67 million bags in one season, just because of the correct use of fertilizer. If anybody had a doubt that proper application of fertilizer gives results, Kenya's case is a clear testimony that appropriate use of fertilizer that is crop specific, this, um, using technology to make sure that we uh, get the right fertilizer to farmers gives results. And that is why this meeting is very important. To turn this situation around, as I have said, we use the fertilizer that is crop specific. This initiative resulted in the bumper harvest we received and we leverage on technology, utilizing an integrated digital platform that registered over six million farmers. Through this platform, farmers access fertilizer using mobile phone vouchers, make payments, and receive collection notification at nearby stores and facilities. More land is now under cultivation with each acre yielding higher production since the availability and of, uh, because of availability and affordability of fertilizer. More importantly, farmers across the country receive soil-specific fertilizer formulation in adequate quantities resulting in unmistakable differences and encouraging progress. To achieve Africa's green revolution, large-scale subsidized fertilizer use is, ne is a necessary imperative. Therefore, as we continue our deliberations, I urge this summit to pay particular attention to several critical areas. First, prioritizing investment in nitrogen and phosphate fertilizer production facilities that is essential, especially using the raw materials we have in our continent. It is possible for us, especially to produce organic fertilizer, using the resources we have in the continent. Let me also say number two is to ensure that we have timely, adequate, appropriate fertilizer availability in season for us to be able to unlock the huge potential in our agricultural production. Additionally, we need sustainable strategies to make fertilizer more affordable, more accessible. Enhancing last mile logistics of fertilizer distribution is equally critical. Moreover, building farmers' capacity for effective fertilizer use and soil health improvement is also a necessity. To anchor our intervention in sustainability, we must design effective subsidy programs that support both immediate productivity needs and long-term soil health. Fundamental to our efforts will be the need to entrench production incentives by leveraging the Africa continental free trade area to enhance market access and profitability for our farmers. I had a conversation with my brother, 
President Ichilema. When they had a bumper harvest, we didn't have as much. And we were having a conversation how we can import from Zambia. Maybe because today we have a bigger uh, production, uh, bumper harvest, we will have the conversation in reverse. The Africa Continental Free Trade Area will give us the necessary logistical infrastructure and policy framework for us to be able to trade freely and effectively within our continent. And that is why it is important that we leverage on the Pan-African Initiative and integration that will provide a basis to harness research, science, and technology to develop a robust African soil information system, support a community of soil health experts across various sectors, and enhance research and soil testing facilities to support informed decision making. I see this summit, ladies and gentlemen, as our opportunity to define viable pathways for rapid agricultural transformation in our continent. The knowledge, experience, capability, and commitment demonstrated by delegates gathered here are pivotal for driving our agenda forward. I am confident that together we can usher in a new era of agricultural productivity that is both sustainable and profitable to our farmers. I welcome all of you to this very important summit. Thank you for your dedication and partnership as we embark on this very important conversation. Africa is counting on you. Let us rise to the challenge. A green revolution is not just essential to feed a young continent. It is an imperative to transform Africa into a surplus producer and the world's bread basket. It will also catalyze wealth generation, job creation, manufacturing, and exports, a testament to the pivotal role of getting fertilizer right. I wish you all productive deliberations and look forward to empowering outcomes at the conclusion of this summit. Thank you very much and welcome to this summit and welcome to Nairobi. Asante Sam. Wonderful round of applause for His Excellency the President of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto. Your Excellencies, allow me at this point to now invite the Chairperson of the African